All eyes will be on the Senate today after the House voted Monday to increase direct payment stimulus checks from $600 to $2,000. Eyewitness News reporter Kevin Hayes joins us, key keying in on what our congressmen are pushing for on Capitol Hill. Good morning, Kevin. Well, good morning, Sean. There's a lot of money left in play down in the Capitol, and of course, local congressmen throwing in uh, their reactions. But really, what this boils down to is a lot of money in play, and that's even after President Trump put pen to paper on this recent relief bill for $900 billion. The big hang up $600 stimulus checks. Congress has spent months going back and forth as millions of Americans try to navigate a global pandemic and maintain their livelihoods. The president has now openly supported going from $600 to $2,000 in those relief checks and threatened to veto the bill before he signed it. After Monday's House vote, Senate Republicans could vote down the proposed raise before it gets back to the Oval Office. That's something 8th District Representative Matt Cartwright says would add to an economic crisis. $600, you know, after going all year without any relief uh, is kind of ridiculous. The Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin, was bargaining on behalf of the White House and he said, that's a line in the sand, $600. And then the president changed his mind after that, and we agree with them. It should be $2,000. The amendment now heads to the GOP-controlled Senate that has had several members who have openly supported the hike, but among them has not been Pennsylvania's own Senator Pat Toomey. Now, Toomey has gone on the record saying that he supports more targeted relief for Americans, and more specifically Pennsylvanians, and he lobbied heavily for Trump to sign this relief bill after he threatened to veto it. But one thing that Toomey says is that if the president and Democrats want those larger stimulus checks, well, they're just going to have to bring it back up in Congress. Reporting live this morning in Wilkesbury, Kevin Hayes, Eyewitness News. All right, Kevin, thanks for that live report. In